This is a sacred message for anyone that considers himself a virgin or anyone that has very little experience because in both situations something has not been located yet the clitoris but despite your ignorance of the female anatomy you still want to get into some guts you feel pressure to have intercourse but this very pressure does not make diamonds it actually makes shit because you become thirsty whatever it takes to not be the weird guy that weird virgin that's not get that's not smashing you've tried simping red pill blue pill multicolored pill blue pill again and you still can't get hard you're still watching adult content the constant pressure to get girls feeling for that validation always searching and it's never ending but i'm here to say don't give in don't give in to the expectations of the modern world people losing their virginity before they even have pubic hairs when i was 15 i was playing Call of Duty. These days, kids are playing Call of Booty. No? Fuck. Don't focus your whole life around getting laid. Because I know you want to smash. I know you get the urge to watch adult content. I know you see all those single ladies. But if you don't like it, in fact, if you don't love it, don't put a ring on it. And uh, don't uh, don't smash because she might not be she might not be worth it. Because what if you didn't have to get that girl? What if you didn't have to watch adult content and release more semen in a shipwreck? What if you could be yourself? What if it didn't matter if you just got a few girls? Or what if it didn't matter if you were a virgin? You may have received words of hate, malice, and disgust. All because you didn't get laid. All because you were all alone at Stacey's party. And you probably feel down, worthless. Why are you not getting laid? You feel so bad about yourself. But I'm here to tell you that you probably shouldn't feel so bad. When I was in school, everyone was getting laid. The cool kids, the nerds, girls, guys. Even one of my teachers were getting laid. Everyone was getting laid. It felt like an alternate world. An experience that everyone was talking about. An alternate universe that everyone was a part of. Everyone except for me. Nearly every week, the girls will be talking about the girls they get. The girl they kissed at the party. The time that they spent at a girl's place. Always this ongoing discussion of how good it was. Everyone in acceptance of how good intercourse is. Going into severe detail. And I sat there digesting it all. Listening to all of it. And to be honest with you, I was getting no cheeks. Absolutely none. I lacked confidence. I was shy. There's no way I would talk to a girl. And there was definitely no way a girl would talk to me. I tried to slide into some DMs a few times, but let's just say it didn't work. So all those hard times, listening to all the other kids, all the other guys in my school have intimacy. Not getting any girls, not getting laid all those years, not even kissing a girl. All those sad years. If I sit back and think about all those sad years, if I close my eyes and think about those times I was desperate, the question I always ask myself is, did any of that even matter? Whether I was getting more ass than Fashion Nova jeans or queuing up to my fourth game on League of Legends. I mean, already know video games are great, but they don't, they don't really help you in any way. They give you instant gratification, dopamine, which we don't want on our, on our self-improvement journey. But if I were to substitute those days of League of Legends playing, playing Teemo, substitute that with getting laid or getting loads of girls, it'd be no different. I don't see how that could benefit anyone. Because I can't think of a single argument of why. Why you need to hurry to get laid. The main goal should be to have a family. Have a son to carry on your name. Embark on the journey of having a daughter and a feminine loving wife to protect. When you're in that situation, would getting laid more help you? In some cases, it might even it might hurt you. One day you'll realize that it's not about busting nuts to sexy slut, getting as much girls as you can. Those girls don't care about you. The energy exchange of a sexual encounter, that encounter eats away at your soul, your sensitivity, your ability to form connections with other people, to not only your future wife, but also your future passions. As I said, your main purpose is procreation. When you're getting all these women fulfilling your purpose over and over and over again and doing that since high school, since your early 20s Why would you have ever stepped foot in the gym? Why would you have started the business? Your lack of satisfaction right now might be your ticket to success Use that pain to fuel you You use that lack of intimacy as a goal to one day find a loving family, a future wife So as much as being a virgin right now might suck Everyone around you is sexualized TikTok, Instagram You're seeing big booties on a daily basis You're fighting the urge to not fap You're not getting many women Some of you are getting no women as frustrating this is and as tempting as it might be to just bust a nut, bust with the first girl you see, the first video you watch, you might be on the right trajectory. Because I'm no astronaut, but right now I'm going to give you the rocket fuel. The power to do anything you want in life. The one thing that you must consider, virgin or not, and the thing that you need to use to become, do or be anything you want. That one thing my friend, that one thing that you must harness, is your energy. Okay, it's been many years. I've meditated. I've been far and wide. I've harnessed my energy. Now I'm gonna get some bitch. Bro, what in the what? That's not what I mean. When I say harness your energy, I'm referring to your sexual energy. Harnessing your sexual energy in order to reach your full potential. You've been watching adult content, sliding into DMs. Bro, you can't even go five minutes without thinking about pussy. To be honest, it's a disaster. Instead of using your drive to fuel you and your impassions, using your deepest desires to elevate you, you're just wasting your energy. But that stops now. You start your days of meditation, setting tasks throughout your day and completing them. Taking each little step to become your best self. No longer trying, no longer trying to get laid or thinking about it because right now that doesn't matter. Your end goal is to get money, your end goal is to get success. 
You wanna go to the gym and build your physique? You wanna improve your mental health? Your overall appearance? And one day find an amazing woman? Not because of that fat booty or, or her breasts? Because she provides what you want. She takes all your boxes. And when that happens, that's a box worth working for. Naturally inside of you there's a gift. You're able to abstain from sexual intercourse. Able to abstain from masturbation. You're able to abstain from busting nuts with no end goal. In order to improve yourself, create a family one day. And live a fulfilled life. Instead of being desperate, going to the club and getting the party girls. Not swapping on girls from Tinder. Whatever you do, don't intertwine your soul with them. They'll use you up and suck your soul. And not in the way you'd like. But drain your energy. Drain your life force. It'll leave you empty, feeling for more. And at the end of the day, unable to succeed in your goals. Eventually forgetting your purpose and forgetting who you're supposed to be. So yeah, being a virgin, that's okay. Not getting all the girls all the time, that's okay. Now's your chance to build your life. And when you meet a girl that has potential, add something to your life. Doesn't take away from it. And doesn't lead you down the path of destruction. You'll know. And you'll be so happy knowing you didn't have to raise your body count. Knowing you didn't have to go through so many different women to find her. And of course we're human, you might, you might get laid one day. It might not be the right girl, but at least you tried. And at least after this video, you won't be pressured. You'll know that it's okay. Okay if you're a virgin, or you had two girls, five girls. Stop looking at these other guys that want to smash 30 girls. At least 50 girls. They're insane. I know the Jezebel spirit is very tempting. You'll be tempted to slip up virtually and physically. You have the will, you have the spirit, and now you have the knowledge. And I promise you, that's all you need. Cause you will take L's. But just to them L's in vain.